Happy Friday, everyone. Thank you for joining me today for another Faith Friday. I am sharing with you first here a few things that I found locally. I am super excited that our um, Christian bookstore in our small little town has illustrated faith goodies. So I picked these up today. Some, Just a few of the things. Some stickers and then some little epoxy hearts. And I did get the Illustrated Faith pens, and then I did get some Bible tabs, and I'm going to show you those later on in the video. Um, but I wanted to share with you today my process for my page. And I am journaling Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28, which reads, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Um... <clears throat> This last week, we've all kind of been sick. We've all had yucky colds and everything. And then we had a super busy weekend, week and weekend. And I just, I was really in a funk at the beginning of the week. I, I know I was tired and I didn't feel good. And I just was kind of like, Ugh. I was kind of, kind of a grouch. <laughs> and so one of the things that I really remembered, um, and I kind of had a few verses to pick from, but I decided to go with this one. And one of the things that I love seeing was um, a little quote that said, give it to God and go to sleep. And so that's what I decided to do today. So I used one of my stencils um, that was from uh, My Favorite Things, and I just taped it off with some tape, um, just some regular blue painter's tape. And then I sponged on the little polka dots just to have a little bit of a background. And then I'm just pulling out some of my stickers. Um, I have tons of thicker alphabet stickers, so I'm using those up before I let myself buy any more. So I started out with some of those, and then I put some washi tape on. And then I'm using my new pens, which I really love, and I'm excited about them for all kinds of journaling. And then I wanted to add some of the stickers, and you kind of see right now in the corner that little cloud, it says, give it to God, and originally I was going to use that, and then I got distracted and I forgot. <laughs> so I, um, I hope I can use that again later on <laughs> in my book, but I decided I wanted to try something with my Wink of Stella, and I just was going to kind of hand letter the word sleep. And um, I just wanted to add a little bit of color as well as some shimmer, but it wasn't really as dark as I thought it was going to be, so it doesn't really pop out. But you know what? It's okay. This is kind of, you know, this is my thing. It's not something I'm really going to be, other than sharing with you today, it's not really something I'm going to be sharing a lot. So it's okay. I'm okay with it. So I added some of the cloud stickers because I was kind of in that mood. And then I added some of the heart epoxies and I finished it off with the date. So that's pretty much my page for today. Um, I did want to share with you, I went ahead and I added the Bible tabs. And as I was going through there, I'm like, oh, this is only for the Old Testament. So I need to get the New Testament. And so I still have these cute little arrow things that I'm going to save those in my stash. But I decided to put the tabs at the top. I thought that it would help add some color to the top. But also, I didn't want it um, taking away from the journaling space in my Bible, which is that narrow space on the side. And I thought if I had tabs there, if I happened to be using that page, they would kind of be in the way. And so that was my process thinking there. I also wanted to share this with you. Um, this is called a uh, Savadori. And um, my friend Savannah O'Gwen made this and I had my eye on it for a while and I finally was able to pick it up from her. She made this cute little charm too that goes here in the corner and there's um, an elastic band around here that she put on there and then it holds everything inside and so basically what it holds is a couple of notebooks and these two notebooks came with it along with the paper clips with the fun little dually dads at the top 
and she sewed this and put it together and I'm going to put a link on my blog so you can head over there and um, pick it up. So everything is held in there with these little rubber bands and then I put in my um, created to create devotional that I picked up and I just I love this pattern and I love the material and so I was super excited um, to pick it up and have it in my little stash of goodies for Bible journaling. So I appreciate you guys watching. I hope that you enjoyed everything I shared with you today and that you come back again. Have a great weekend.